of Southern Kentucky's RSVP program and I wanted to talk about one of my favorite projects with RSVP and that's making sleeping mats for the homeless. And here's an example of one of our sleeping mats that we have hanging from the wall here and the things at the top are the straps that we use and then the tail is another one to make a carrying strap out of. And this is made from uh, plastic grocery sacks and we're going to talk about how we turn those sacks into the final product. When we first get our plastic bags, this is usually what they look like. So the first thing we want to do is straighten them out so that we can work with them. Kind of tuck in the sides. And smooth them out. Then the first thing we're going to do is fold it in half across and then fold it in half one more time. The next step is to cut off the seam at the bottom and the handles at the top. And this is recyclable too so you can save those and take them to where you normally recycle your bags. Now with the long strip, you fold it over and then over. One more time. Take your scissors, cut through, and then you'll have one more folded edge and you want to cut through it as well. So what you end up with is four loops. And you open the loops Two of the loops and put one end cross ways in between. Bring your fingers through and pull that through. And gently pull it because you don't want to tear the bag until you have a knot. And you want your knot to be fairly small so that whenever you're crocheting, it doesn't get in your way. So again, put it through. And then you keep working like that, and when you get a long string done, you just start rolling it up. And do it until you have a flooring ball at the size that you're ready to work with. You're ready to crochet. And that's all there is to making flooring. Now we're going to talk a little bit about how this, the flooring that we've made, turns into the mat that we saw previously and we crochet and we use a hook. This is an N. A J will work. Anything that 
you are comfortable with that will get you a close crochet like this because the whole object is to provide some cushion but also to make it um, help them have a dry place whenever it's wet outside. So I wanted to show you how on this one that I've already started how you can actually join some plarn that you're just making with the project that you're actually working on. And you just go with your last piece and pull through the first piece on your new ball of plarn. Kind of pull that through. And then make your knot. Just like you did before. And sometimes what will happen is what happened just here. And I'll show you how to fix that too. Sometimes uh, it doesn't come out even and you just loosen your knot. slide the piece that's too long through, make it even again, and then tighten your knot back up. So it's not a big deal. And then you're ready to go. And to crochet a mat, you chain a piece that's about four foot wide or three and a half foot, just wide enough for a person to lay on. And then after you do your first chain, you want to single crochet. And you'll continue to single crochet until your mat is complete. And we recommend about six feet. Um, can do it a little bit longer, six and a half feet. And then that's plenty of room for somebody to use to lay down to stretch all the way out. So it works up fairly quick, um, but you want to remember to keep your stitches close because the whole object is to keep moisture out and to keep it as dry as possible. And now we will show you a finished product that's rolled up and what that looks like. And this is a finished mat that's rolled up and ready to be transported. You'll notice that we have um, a chained piece that wraps around to hold it and we do one on each end and then you make a strap that it can be carried with and it makes it really easy to throw it over your shoulder and then your hands are free.